All right, guys, welcome to Blaze Camp. I'm going to talk about the four most common lunging variations. Now, these are going to be stationary. There's walking lunges, reverse lunges, all kinds of different dynamic movements of them. But I'm going to talk about mostly the stationary lunges. So we can understand just there as we are working out. And then you guys can take that into movement. Okay. First one is front foot elevation, which is going to push me backwards. So front foot elevated is going to deload my front leg load me a little bit more in the back so this would be like a 50 50 or like a 40 60 in itself all right this is going to help me be able to learn how to put force into the ground with that front foot all right because i can't manage that much load yet on the leg so i'm going to push myself back deload that front on the floor i'm going to do both feet on the ground or like a 50 50 or a 60 40. this is it the next step okay if i can manage this one i can go to the next one the next one would be a rear foot elevated. So rear foot elevated will allow me to push myself forward with that back leg. So that back leg, because it's elevated, is pushing me forward and gravity is going to make me fall and I'm going to hold myself with this front foot. So I'm going to go down and up. Everything as far as my body weight is stacked on top of that front foot. So I am going into more of a dorsiflexion versus if I have my front foot elevated, I'm more in a plantar flexion or from tibia middle to back in this back foot elevated is more from tibia middle to front. All right. So depending on what I want, you can load it in a different stance, different way. So this part with the rear foot elevated is going to push me forward. Now, the last one that I think is the most brutal one or the hardest one would be a rear foot elevated and front foot elevated. So if I'm here, I'm going to get into a much deeper lunge than any other variation. Okay. So it's going to put me into the most dorsiflexion and hip flexion and have to come up from there. That one is really, really good. And it'll be the hardest way to stance the lunge to get the most work done. Okay. One thing is on the rear foot elevation, if you're bending at the lower back, your foot is too far back or it's too high. And when you're doing your rear foot elevation, you're more like extended at the hip where it starts to hurt in your back quad, you've gone too far. Okay. You need to bring it in. You can't be going that far. Let's go into loading variation. All right. Lunging variations as far as load have, let's go from easier to hardest. Just a real quick, easier would be your hands down here. Hardest would be your humerus more away, more away, more away from your body. All right, so we're going to start, start with the ones that most people can do and should start with is just dumbbells at the bottom. Okay. And you can do this in any, uh, any stance that you want. You can go from front foot elevated to 50, 50 to rear foot elevated and they go from there. But just imagine going from easier to harder, and then you can design your workouts that way. I'm just going to show you on a 50, 50, cause we're only talking about loading variations. So just hands down, go into your lunge. Okay. Very simple. This should be both hands down. You can always go from there into a more angled out. For me, it would be a goblet. Okay. My goblet, you see my back is expanded. My elbows are in and they're a little bit forward. This will be a little bit harder. Okay. Again, you can do it at any stance. After that, you could do front rack where my elbows are going to be really high forward. Okay. They can be done with dumbbells or you can do that with a barbell, okay? So this would be a stationary lunge front rack with a barbell. You can do the stationary lunge front rack with a barbell front foot elevated as well. This is just the loading of them. Now from there, we can go into a 50-50 on the ground and back racked lunge, okay? This on the back rack is usually where you can get the most volume of load. So you can get the most weight put on and do a lunge, but that'll be up to you as far as how you can manage your rib cage and the loading of them. Now, the last thing that I'm going to talk about is if you do unilateral work, you can do contralateral, which would mean the weight is on the inside of that front leg. Okay. And you can do ipsilateral. The weight is on the outside of your leg. Now, this may also be front rack, ipsilateral dumbbell, okay? Or it could be front rack, contralateral with a dumbbell. As soon as I put the weights with my hands 
up on top of my body, I'm gonna have to work my rib cage a lot more and then transfer that into the ribs, into the hips, I'm sorry. And so that's unilateral work. So if I said front foot heel elevated, contralateral lunge with rear foot elevation, it'll be this. So my front foot has a heel elevation, I'm contralaterally loaded, I have rear foot elevation, and I'm going up and down right here. So in your program, you will see different variations, and now you can understand how to put them together. This is very important because I will do different variations for you on the program we're going to be doing so you can get the best results from easier to harder. All right, let's go.